Hello, I am Fjallspak and welcome to the Darkest Dungeon. Alright, let's embark. And what are we going to go for here? So by level. Okay, we have some high level characters available. We're gonna go for a level 3 thingy siren. Actually, you will have to be you three, and then we have to have a, some sort of healer, right? Because you are not a healer in any way, shape, or form, and neither are you. But if you're a dodge guy, and neither are you. So, some sort of healer. Do we have a healer that is high level? No, we don't. So, maybe not. Go for a boss. Okay, then we're not going for our high level quest then. We're going to move for a low level quest then. Well, you are to be the healer. And you stay there, that's fine. Then you come along also. And then this guy goes in here. Leper, you'll have to stay out of it for a while. And the Houndmaster as well. Alright. And you were a short one, okay, yeah. So one set of torches and one set of food. Anything else? Nah, should be fine. It's just a question of getting some experience so we can get these guys out of level one and zero. So we'll get them upwards. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. A fortune waiting to be spent. A torch is a fortune? I don't think so. I didn't use stupid people. Rain of Sorrows. We'll hit one guy only this time around. Just need to swap around and then we are in correct position again, right? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Right, then you can't use this one, or you can't use it against the first position here. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Right? Yeah, you want to be to the very front. And you technically know you are not the uh, leper, not the uh, do you want to be in the second position? All right, so this is okay. Okay, they're surprised. Rain of Sorrows will hit both of these guys in the back and that uh, will make them bleed. Indeed it will. Excellent. More, you'll bleed for four, you have seven points left. All right, you go and uh, get a defense on your shelf, and you do this for the guy in the back, and then they should be deadish. This guy is gonna die at least, and you might be around for so a while longer. Three seven hit points, so two more rounds basically. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. I don't want to have you around that long. So let's just make sure you get out of here. Excellent. Continue the onslaught. Right, my hound was clearly better than their hound. No need to heal anyone really, so just go and stab. Now, 
Fate is the weapon that cuts on its own. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I found a map. That revealed absolutely nothing. That was a bit useless. Yeah, we did not bring Nature a shovel. Herself. I was thinking of maybe bringing a shovel, to this but uh, corruption. nope, did not. This intent. And we got a disease. Yeah, the disease all of a sudden became very common after the Crimson Cross thingy went away. Alright, so where are we going next? We need to explore 90% of the rooms. So two rooms this way and four rooms that way, so we're going this way first. Gonna run into a trap. Where is it? It's here. What is our percentages? 60, 60, 50, and 100. Excellent. Grab a torch. If only treasure could away. staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. All right. Um, guess we'll just make these guys bleed at the back. They're both resisted, unfortunately. But I think we're going to try to do this also. Quakes. And let's kill one of them. Say you. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And you do a guard thingy. Time to perform beyond one's limits. And they put in another one. Okay. These, they don't have that many hit points, so... Should be fairly easy to kill, hopefully. Right, Hans Harry, bleed all of them. And the tentacle thing is to the guys at the back. <coughs> right, you almost single hit point. Good, you have a single hit point as also. Alright, so we're hitting at somebody at the front. Let's go and get you out of here. A death by inches. And then you out of here. And I guess we win. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. But still no shovel. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. Okay, one more room explored. And a fight showed up here. Grand. Three hounds. Bleeding for five. Okay, so you're done for it. Good. I actually think we just kill him here. Momentary abatement. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay. 
finally you have your turn, so you can get your blocks in. It's going to be too late. No attacks are going to come, uh, come at you, I guess. Right, also you became deceased. Bleeding. Okay, good. So you're done for. You are healing somebody, and that somebody is going to be your shelf. And go kill dog. Excellent. And you get another heal, and let's do that on the Huntmaster. And just do something like that. You can get another heal of some sort in here. Nope. Oh well. Let's finish this. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Tracking completed. All right, here's a battle room with treasure. The two treasures along the way. Think you will go and investigate. Packs laden Loots with loot excellent. are often low on supplies. Yeah, excellent as well. So use some torches and get some light going again, and then head on in. Here, these guys. They're surprised, so if we're really lucky, we'll kill all of them. And you go for one. Bleeding. Nope. Damn it. Uh, you do that. Nope, not quite enough to kill him either. Hounds Harry, we might kill two of them. Masterfully executed. Then again, we only killed one. Get rid of you. As long as it doesn't multiply, okay, we dodged. Good. Next round, we should finish this. There we go. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Hunger, all right. Here we have wealth beyond coins. measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Right, we will run out of torches before we get to the end of this corridor. Nothing here. Some trap. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. And no torches left. Alright, two rooms, so we will use a biscuit here. Continue adventuring, there was nobody in this room. So, head into the last room. To see what is there. If anything, some spiders. Bleeding for enough, at least. Good. Um, yeah, I guess you just go stabby stabby. I failed. Dog, you grab a biscuit just because we haven't used it and we can. Another one. Falls. Twenty-nine points of damage. Nice. No need to take defenses. For yourself, just attack. And there we go. These nightmarish creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. 
and also at the seas. Grand! So this is the last room, right? I think so. Indeed it was, so head on home. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harried. Right, ten deeds. That is one thing we're looking for. Right, you gained levels here. All right, you got a sickness as well. So the medical ward is gonna be um, surplus. A rare and um, wonderful thing. Gotta be full for for a while yet. Supply and provisions, that's when we equip for the mission. It's gonna be cheaper right here. We will increase the roster to 26 or increase the number of available heroes to 6. Let's increase our roster at least. Increase our roster to 31. Right, we have a level three vestial. You are a healer, so let's grab you. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. What are we lacking? It was a cultist plague doctor, was it? Maybe some other sort of characters as well. Like uh, we got a blueprint way back, I think. Yeah, we have one. We do anything with it? Nothing there. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing here. So, nope, we cannot. Alright. Sanitarium, you have a disease thingy, so rabies. Let's get rid of that. You have a thingy as well, also rabies. Also get rid of those. And you have something as well. Let's take another rabies. And then sort by stress. The rest seem to be fine. Jewel we brought in. That was you, right? Yeah, you need equipment. It's nothing bestial specific, so quick draw charm and a thing of I guess. Grab those. Excellent. Right, I will take a break here. Thank you very much for watching.